Hey guys! Today I'm going back to my old recipe with no pouring medium. So my paints today are just water and Floetrol and we're doing a flip and drag. And yesterday was my open cut flip drag that did not work out so well and then I did some other paintings after I turned you off and those didn't go so well. So I'm going to blame the Eclipse because then right after I went upstairs to make myself something to eat and I immediately dropped the plate in the sink and broke it. So I'm blaming the Eclipse. So it had nothing to do with me. Um, so today I've got Deco Art Metallic Amethyst, which is here. Um, this is a combo of cadmium uh, red light hue and yellow light hue. I like, I really like using these together. That's like my new favorite orange. Um, this is um, Napfall Crimson, but there was a touch in the bottom still of Festive Red Metallic, but like just literally like a touch because I just reused the cup. You can see it's all icky. Um, and then this is Craft Smart. Oh, I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. I must have looked at the sun yesterday. Uh, Native Turquoise mixed with some of this, which I don't have the tube anymore, but is a Liquitex. Um, I'm going with Baby Blue. I'm pretty sure that's not the official name, but we're going with Baby Blue. And. Um, Hang on, I, I just took the dog for a walk, so I'm still really hot. Okay. So, and I just mixed up some new white. Um, like I just mixed it up, but I think it's... You know, I'm, <laughs> I know people, some of you, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, you just wasted a lot of paint. And I did. Yesterday, I wasted... A ton of white paint. Um, it just killed me. So I need to go buy another gallon. I mean, it was just, you know, it was just a bad paint day, which happens. And I mean, I'm not upset over that, but just like, don't cry over spilled paint, you know, as your mommy used to tell you. So WD-40, black can, silicone, black can. No blue can, black can. Um, I was actually looking today online at um, treadmill silicone, but does anybody know if I could put that into a spritz bottle, if it would even work? Because I like spraying it in here and then um, doing it, and I don't know if I just had a dropper, if that would disperse as much, so. If anybody has any ideas, I love asking you guys things because you come back with answers or advice and I love it. It's so much fun reading all your comments because some of you I've really gotten to know and joking around and it's fun. I like it. So sprayed that in there and I'm just going to start layering. I really wish I had a wider mouth, something with a wider mouth. I'm looking around my basement right now, and offhand I can't see anything that I could use right now, so I guess I'm stuck with this. Oh, I just saw a chunk go in there. Red is always harder to mix up than other colors. Um, because I wanted a wider mouth to get a wider path. That's a bummer. God, I just love that color. It's so pretty. Um. 
2 squared. That's my son. He's loud. Ugh, and I'm sniffly today. It's allergy time. Well, it's always allergy time for me. Um, this is stuck on these bars. This is a, as I said, washing machine pan. And then my bars are uh, like that. They got the holes for hanging um, shelves. But I like them because they are sturdy. So I've got about that much. Um, I'm gonna add a little more purple. You can see from the back my all the all of my things from yesterday. Pouring. Oh, this white is Floetrol in water. I'm gonna make sure I have enough paint. Because one of my problems yesterday was not enough paint on one of them. So, today was an interesting day. Well, first off, I should say tomorrow is my husband and my uh, 20th anniversary, which is just crazy. 20 years just seems like 20 years is a long time. So tomorrow's our anniversary, and we never, we don't get each other gifts, um, never have. Uh, we do for like birthdays, but, um, and even then it's mainly like from the kids, you know, or the dog. We're just, I don't know, because we, you know, we go out to eat or to movies or something all the time. Well, not all the time, but so, you know, we'd rather spend our money that way than on gifts, I guess, but, um, or we're just not very creative, one of the two. Actually, he's, oh my gosh, I should, he gave, when we first started dating, he gave me the weirdest gifts, but I always remember them, so I mean, they were, I remember he showed up at my apartment after we had met with a desk lamp and a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, um, like calendar or something. Oh my gosh, it was so weird. But, um, so, anyway, so our anniversary's tomorrow. We don't do gifts or anything, but I came home to, well, I was really nice to my son. I, I came home, because we work at the same, or I work at the school he goes to, and so he texted me that he had left his laptop at home, and normally I'm like, you know, tough, you know, but I was feeling apparently generous today. So I ran home. I live uh, like five minutes from school. So I ran home, got it, just quickly pulled back out of the um, driveway. I'm going to puncture this to release suction. Pulled out of the driveway and, you know, just shut the garage door. Oh, look, it's floating away. Shut the garage door as I'm already, you know, down the hill. So. Look at this, I'll zoom in while I'm chatting. So I get home after work, or I get home at lunchtime. Neat things happening. And the garage door is all wonky. The left side, or yeah, the left side's up, right side's down. It's like, ah, oh, that's not good. So I, uh, I'm gonna release some of this out. Oh, it really doesn't want to lift. Um, so it was the coil had snapped. And uh, so, you know, I called and then I had to leave work early for them to come and fix it. And so I told my husband, I said, apparently, you know, the the 20th anniversary gift, the official, is a garage door coil. 
So that's my gift to him was the coil for the garage. Because he, and he wasn't even home, so he didn't have to deal with any of it. I was a lucky one that had to deal with it. So, I think that was probably a long-winded story. And, um, yeah, I don't know where that's going. <laughs> but I'm just kind of waiting for these cells. I like to wait a minute to see what they want to do. Because sometimes they'll, sometimes they'll help tell you what direction they want to go. So I will zoom you. So this is what's going on right now. showering because instead of painting because in 40 minutes I'm supposed to be somewhere. <laughs> but it's really close I figure. Just a quick shower. I'm sure you guys really care about my bathing habits. to do it yesterday with tilting it into that bin and that didn't work. This is working really well. <laughs> I, I, you know, I feel, you know, when they give you the doctor those cups, you know, for a sample, your sample, that's what I feel like I'm doing right now. Because if any of you have children, if any of you remember having to hold that cup at the pediatrician's office, oh my gosh, I remember those. <laughs> and for some reason that made me, this made me think of that. So, it's kind of so really that's all, that's not even that much, but it's, um, taken up an interest in photography. If you, I always talk, they love old stuff. Him and my husband, they go antiquing all the time. And um, you know, this is kind of interesting paint. If I can get any of it into this cup, I'm going to attempt it. Um, so he found this old camera. And I think it was uh, like 35, there's a whole bunch of it, the millimeter film. But it had been, I got it everywhere but the cup, but it had been in my parents' closet for at least a good 10 years. So he had taken it over the summer, taken his camera, and he had ridden his bike to this area near us that they... It's an old uh, Boys Town. I don't know if any of you have heard of Boys Town. But they are tearing down part of it. And uh, that's really pretty, but none of it got in here. And so he went and took pictures of the abandoned buildings before they were torn down. And he um, just got them developed. 
and they're so cool. And they, they look old, you know, because the film was so old, so it had, you know, eroded over the years. And so, um, all of them look like they are, have a filter, you know, they all look like Snapchat filters, and they're really neat. And I was like, oh, maybe I should give you this camera that I'm using, and I'll buy myself a new camera. But he didn't want that. I was like, no, nah, I'll buy a new camera. He's like, no money, buddy. Um, I gotta smooth this out. I think my white is thicker usual because normally I don't have to smooth it out like um, you know normally it's too too liquidy to you know even be able to do what I'm doing right now I still forgot, I still haven't done um, that other layer of varnish on those paintings that I filmed the other day. Maybe that was just yesterday. Maybe it was just yesterday. Maybe it's only been a day. like how this looks so different from that. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Just give me a minute. Sometimes you gotta think. Which I don't always do. Sometimes I'm like, oh I hate it, scrap it. And then I'm like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And while I'm thinking, those cells are appearing. This looks like cobwebs. Okay. So anything I do is going to have to be manipulated by hand because if you saw that, I went to tilt this and it all shifted. So that is not going to be a good plan. I don't want to tilt it, because that's how I lose it all. I may... Not really sure what I want to accomplish in this area, but I know I don't like this. I'm just hoping that whatever I'm doing will end up See that 
extra white really did come in handy. Where'd my thing go? I should be scraping it into here. It's kind of a pretty color. You know, some colors end up, there's a whole lot of it there. This could be like a usable color though. Oh, I got the green. Now I'm just trying to get all the ends, ends, all of it connected so that I can, now I am going to tilt. Let's move on. But I'm hoping keep the shape of all the rest of it. Without getting it too stretched out. You know, it's kind of fun to have more precision. Like right now, I'm actually attempting to tell the paint what to do. Because usually, you know, a lot of it in this art technique is um, out of our hands, you know, once the paint kind of has a mind of its own. So it's kind of fun to try and get it to do what you want. moving. Okay, I'm trying to move it down opposite me, and I'm okay if I lose some of that green, because I'm not all that crazy about it. There it goes, slowly.
know why I just did that. That was stupid. My problem with this corner is trying to make it look like it belongs because it doesn't. It looks like the whole painting is one thing and then something happened is what it looks like to me. So maybe I do need that orange to kind of go a little. the middle. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like it. I love aspects of it. I love the aspects of it. This part I'm not too keen on. For some reason it makes me think of like a bird and it's opening its mouth. Like that's kind of like the eyes and the mouth and just hair or I guess feathers and just or a human and just like yelling. I don't know, now that I'm like putting ideas into it, you know, I'm finding, I'm, I'm really drawn to it, like looking at it, even though I don't really, I, I think it's the colors I don't like very much. I don't like how they ended up, but there's something about it that I'm just kind of mesmerized by. Well, let's torch it. is weird. That is a really weird piece. Very odd. So there you have it. Let's see. So there it is. Let me know your thoughts on this one, because I, I don't even know my thoughts on it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends and neighbors. Have a good day.